Hello, welcome to The Update. I'm Abby Smith. The Nazi swastika would be outlawed nationwide under legislation to be debated next week in federal parliament. Attorney General Mark Dreyfus says the legislation sends a strong message. This bill will send the clearest possible signal to those who seek to spread hatred, violence and anti-Semitism that we find these actions repugnant and we will not tolerate them. Exceptions will be made for religious use because of its significance in Hinduism, Buddhism and other practices. The Australian branch of Jenny Craig has folded with hundreds of employees made redundant. Administrators were brought into the company last month to source a buyer for physical stores but have been unsuccessful. Olympian Harry Garside says a weight has been lifted from his shoulders after a domestic violence charge against him was dropped. The boxer was arrested at Sydney International Airport last month and charged with domestic violence-related common assault. Pope Francis has undergone abdominal surgery to rectify a hernia issue. The Vatican says the 86-year-old pontiff came through the three-hour operation without any complications. And the killer jewels contained in a couple of beers are being compared against junk food to highlight the hidden killer jewels in alcohol. Cancer Council Victoria says two Great Northerns are the same as a small packet of chips, while two Carlton Drafts is the equivalent to eating a quarter of a tub of ice cream. Campaign manager Shirley Lee says they're often hidden calories. If you have a couple of beers quite regularly, that can drastically increase energy intake um, and without really much benefits of um, nutrients. Since drinks don't really fill us up in the same way that food does, people can easily drink lots of um, empty calories without realising. Entertainment and sport next. Australia is in a strong position after the opening day of the World Test Championship final against India. At Stumps, the Aussies were 3 for 327, with Travis Head not out at 146 and Steve Smith on 95. Head brought up his century with a shot over the leg side field. Gets this one away. Travis Head's done it in just 106 balls, and it's his first 100 away from home. First ever against India as well. A big match tonight for Buddy Franklin. He celebrates his 350th against the Saints at the SCG. St Kilda hasn't had a win there since 2009. While in the NRL, it's the Titans taking on the West Tigers tonight on the Gold Coast. AJ Brimson has been named for the host, while David Fafida misses the match due to a delayed concussion. And in tennis, Alexander Zverev has booked his place in the French Open semi-finals. He's reached the semis with a four-set win over an unseeded Thomas Martin Etchfury. In entertainment news, devastating news for Shannon Doherty. The former Charmed and Beverly Hills actress says her cancer has spread to her brain. She was first diagnosed with the cancer three years ago. Prince Harry has given evidence for a second day against the Mirror Group newspapers in London, alleging phone hacking on an industrial scale. The Duke of Sussex claims about 140 articles published between 1996 and 2010 contain information which was gathered using unlawful methods. He also claims he once found a tracking device on the car of his then-girlfriend Chelsea Davey. And a small fashion issue hasn't broken Beyonce's soul. The Grammy winner shook off the minor wardrobe malfunction during one of her Renaissance World Tour concerts in London. While performing America Has a Problem, her jewelled headpiece slipped down, but she caught it just before it fell to the ground. And that's the latest from the Nova podcast team. We'll see you this afternoon for another episode of The Update.